seeing why someone has been a little distant lately. Truth is coming in fast. Something that you've been waiting to hear, it's been taking forever. You know something is up. You've been trying to figure it out. It's been taking forever to come in. It's gonna start coming in quickly now. The energy is picking up momentum. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. You're not feeling like peace in your life. There's a little upheaval. There's a little chaos. You feel like there's some sort of ending coming in. Hmm. Or having to let someone, something go. Ten of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. I'm hearing safe house. This person makes you feel safe, comforted. Like you don't need to um, put on a false mask in front of them. You can be completely yourself. You guys are goofy. You get along and you bonded because you can show yourselves like the deepest parts of yourselves without judging each other. Nine of Pentacles. That's beautiful energy, pre-empress energy, Taurus energy, five of cups. I feel like this needs to be upright. You're upset about somebody, somebody who shines, somebody who walks in and they captivate the entire room. It's somebody who you aspire to be like. And also, when you're upset, you lose that side of yourself. Seven of Cups. With the Hierophant, your person may have broken up with you. You may be dealing with a breakup or some sort of separation. Mercury is retrograde. This is going to happen. In six weeks, they're going to come running back like, oh my god, I was dumb. Yep, you were. The Sun in the reverse. This is not good energy. You guys are going through something heartbreaking. And I'm going to guess it's it, it's heavily influenced by Mercury Retrograde. This person is being naive. They're exploring their options, not fully committing because they, they think that's what they want right now. They think that they picked out the issues in the relationship and that they've had a conversation with you. Now they're going to let it go because they have things to do and pursue. Like, excuse me, where the F are you going? You guys have a very strong connection. You don't just walk away from it. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles with the High Priestess. You're waiting for this person to realize that you are what makes them happy. You know this. You, you know you are this person's happiness. You know that no one can understand them the way that you do. No one can give them what you can give them. You know this person inside and out. That's why it hurts so badly when they walk away. Because you're like, how can you feel like home to me? and just have that be one-sided. How can you not feel what I'm feeling? The stars. With the four of pentacles, you guys just loved each other without any, there was no one being controlling, like you can't do this or you can't do that. You guys just loved each other and it was easy. Nine of Pentacles with the Five of Swords. Risking it all for this person. I mean, you may have left somebody else to go with this person. And now this person has left you and you feel just broken because you feel alone. And you don't want to go back to your other person. Like, you love this person. And you're back and forth between feeling like maybe you made a mistake, but you know you didn't. You know you didn't. Five of Pentacles. To unbreak your heart, this person coming back in is what you need. You guys, that's my Romeo and Juliet card. You guys love each other. Seven of Cups with the Nine of Cups. 
they're looking at all these options, but none of them can compare to you. None of them have the chemistry that you and your person have. You're like, what are you even doing? You know that they can't bring what you bring. You guys, it's a soul thing where like your souls light each other on fire. It's not, oh, well, this person dresses nicer than me or this person this. It's not, it's not um, physical. It's not material. This is emotional and energetic. With the Hierophant, Queen of Pentacles. Your person's just gone cold on you. You're trying to to relight the fire. You're trying to... Um, I mean, you may be saying things to try to remind them of the good times. Try to remind them that they love you. Trying to wake them up to the fact that you've had amazing moments together. You just don't understand. Where are you going? Like, what do you mean? Yeah, the sun with Knight of Swords. It's taking control of the situation. Yeah. Because you guys have so much love for each other. It's like, you can't just, like, what are you doing? How can you just walk away from me? It's, it's, this is like a, a pride thing where it's like, you're trying to regain control over yourself and over your mind so that this doesn't eat you alive. They are like, they're trying to ignore you and maintain that what they're doing is the right thing for them. They're confused. Emotions are running high. Spirit guidance for Aries. Your dreams need a practical plan. And what this means to me and what Spirit's conveying to me for you is that you need to figure out exactly what you want, meditate on it, and manifest it. Don't just sit here and be sad. Take control. You want to take control of the situation? Take control of the situation. Put it out to the universe what you want. If this relationship, which it is right for you, but if, if in the off chance that it is wrong for you and you try to manifest them back in, when you're aligning and you're manifesting, if you're not meant for this person or they're not meant for you, your person that is meant for you will come into you. It doesn't mean that you're manipulating anybody. The universe sees more than you do. You just, you bypass your mind and speak directly to the universe. The universe will give you what you need. Be bold and make the first move. The end of a tough cycle approaches. And there's emotions are running high again. Spirit's saying, pull this card. I don't know why. Work through your fears. Okay. In the extended, we're going to go over what's going to happen with this person. If they're going to come back to you, if they're going to stay with someone else. And if they do stay with someone else, then what's going to happen if you entertain a new relationship? Who will that be? Okay. Okay.